Kawam, Kahala Yahawa, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rukokadash, the honors my teachers, the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone, peace and mercy to the elect, who the house of David will be born again in this generation, and Shalom to the 130 Asherala, who today are known as the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, who before losing our true heritage, we were known as, and still are, the true Hebrew Israelites of the Holy Bible. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about the mass killings that will soon be taking place upon the earth and how they're going to be done by those people who the Bible refers to as the Edomites. Right? But let's go ahead and read this uh, excerpt from this book written by a man named Jax Atelli. Now, Jax Atelli, uh, he, I guess he has a book called Verbatim. Uh, which is a, I guess it's a collection of some of his sayings or some of his speaking points. Right? He's a, a famous Bilderberger, right? Basically, he's one of the people who run the world for the most part, right? When you get into who actually runs the world, uh, these people are referred to usually as the one percenters, right? The Bible refers to them as the kings of Edom, right? Edom being the so-called Caucasian race. And the kings of Edom would be the very top echelon of that particular race, right? Now, if you uh, stay abreast to, you know, world politics and news, you understand that the Bilderberger Group is basically, it's a, it's a, it's a think tank for the world leaders, right? It's basically where the owners of the world, right, the 1%, decimate disseminate their request to the people who have been put in power like the presidents the CEOs of corporations and basically people of power around the world who the world sees right who, as figureheads and they're they are given their marching orders as far as who's going to be president what agendas are going to be brought to the table what's going to happen you know this year what are we planning for in five years and 10 years 20 years well, this man who is part of this, you know, elite group, this this club that you're not in, right? This is one of his sayings, right? Let's go and read it. It says, here from a 1981 book by Bilderberger, Jack Satelli, is an example of the elite's mindset. The future will be about finding a way to reduce the population. Of course, we will not be able to execute people or build camps. We get rid of them by making them believe it is for their own good. Right? And I'm gonna stop right there, but so see how he says here, we're gonna make them get rid, you know, we get rid of them by making them believe it is for their own good. Right? So that whole mantra that you hear about the world overpopulation, right? You should only have one kid or two kids, right? Planned parenthood right the uh, that you should have kids later on in life you should get your career and your education done first all these things are 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 systems of thought and and programming that ultimately reduce reduces the the majority of the world or at least those people who are who are indoctrinated with this you know new think to uh, to basically kill themselves off right now, this is just something that these devils are putting in place because they ultimately want to reduce the population of the earth. They, you know, they've said it in, in uh, you know, multiple things, right? This is just one example of them writing it in their own books. Let's continue. We will find or cause something, a pandemic targeting certain people, a real economic crisis or not, a virus affecting the old or the elderly. It doesn't matter. The weak and the fearful will succumb to it. The stupid will believe in it and ask to be treated. We will have taken care of having planned, planned the treatment, a treatment that will be the solution. The selection of idiots will therefore be done by itself. They will go to the slaughterhouse alone. So you see this? This is what your, you know, the tops, you know, thinkers 
of, of your society, you know, have on their mind, right? You got people like Joe Biden out there, right? Talking about six minutes, six hours, six weeks, right? Speaking in code, Nancy Pelosi out there, you know, shooting up to 666, you know, also, you know, talking, you know, gibberish. These people have a way of communicating in front of your very face without you understanding what they're doing, right? They communicate to each other through their books, right? One like I'm just reading this excerpt from. They let their intentions be known and those who are wise enough to understand will, will, will know what's going on, right? And they're, they're hoping, right? They're expecting you Negro, Latino, Native Americans, you Israelites, to be too dumb and too lazy to look up to stuff, man. This is Psalm 64 and 8. So that they sh shall make their own tongues to fall upon themselves, all that see them shall flee away. Right? The Lord ultimately is going to turn these devils upon themselves. Right? He's going to make make it so that way they basically tell upon themselves. Right? This is one of the prophecies of the Bible that these devils are going to ultimately fumble with their agenda of destroying the majority of the world. And that's gonna be, one of the reasons for this is gonna be because they're gonna basically spill the beans themselves, right? One way is, is, is an example of what you just seen, where people literally boast and explain what they're actually doing. Other ways would be when you have these truthers out here, like people like Alex Jones or you know David Icke, where they actually are out here you know, revealing truths of the elites, right? Even though he's an Edomite himself, or, or excuse me, these people are Edomites, they still reveal the truth. And why is that? Because they're getting left behind, you know, just like the rest of us Israelites. So what they're doing is they're trying to reveal the truth themselves, right? And this ultimately is fulfilling this prophecy that they shall make their own tongues to fall upon themselves, right? And this isn't the first person to come out this isn't the first Edomite to reveal his true plans right you have this devil here Barbara Marks Hubbard right uh, she was an American futurist author and Democratic presidential candidate from 1984 right she was one of these elitists right and this is what she wrote she says we will use whatever means we must to make this act of destruction as quick and painless as possible to the one half of the world who are incapable of evolving. The selection process will be quick, right? And she's talking about killing off the majority of the world, right? Killing off those who her and her kind see as unwanted, right? You, you, uh, or as the Bible refers to us Israelites, a nation undesired, right? The Negro Latino Native Americans, right? These people like this are coming right at us. Right? And the majority of our people are asleep, thinking that these Edomites are their best friends, that they're helping them, that they, you know, are, are so nice to create these jabs to, to uh, you know, make it so that way we don't die when, when it's the very opposite, right? Here's another quote that she says. She says, we are, the, we are in charge of God's selection process for the planet Earth. He selects, we destroy. We are the riders of the pale horse, death, right? And she wrote this in her book uh, called The Rainbow Swastika, a report to the Jewish people about New Age anti-Semitism on page 235, right? And you see, because the, the very elites of our society, right? The, these Edomites at the very top, they understand that they're the Edomites. They understand that the Lord put them in power to basically destroy and kill off the majority of the world and why is that well because the Lord has a, a prophecy that needs to come out right and to play out and what is that one of those prophecy it's Zechariah 13 and 8 talking about two-thirds of the Negro Latinos and Native American that's two out of every three Negro Latinos and Native Americans will be killed off in these end time events and why is that well it's because they did not wake up they didn't humble themselves and turn back to the Lord. They wanted to stay living as Babylonians, living in their wickedness and not realizing that things are getting real, right? They ultimately will die. 
and they're going to die by the hands of these Edomites who are the pale horse like this lady just said right and that's referring to right here in, in uh, the book of Revelation 6 and 8 that says and I looked and behold a pale horse and his name that sat on him was death right and that person that sat on, on that horse that's the nation of Edom right these Edomites right they've been given a great sword to to uh, destroy to bring you know destruction upon the earth right this is why they're also referred to as the, the red horse right they are the red horse the pale horse of death that's these devils man and hell followed with him and power was given on to, to them right the Edomites over the fourth part of the earth to kill with sword and with hunger and with death and with the beast of the earth right so there you go see that's that's who these Edomites are right your your arch enemies you Negro Latino Native Americans because believe it or not you do have enemies upon this earth right and those enemies right now are pretending to be your friends right and you know at the lowest level right that you know Johnny and Timmy at your job and they, they probably are your friends right they, they probably really do like you and you probably like them but you got to understand that your people and their and their people are mortal enemies biblical mortal enemies right you are destined to never come together in that kumbaya spirit man right and, and it doesn't matter how many you know hands you hold how many you know you know uh, you know backyard barbecues you invite your 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 Edomite friends to man they're they're just not going to be able to to come into the kingdom of heaven like that man right this is a, a, a decree by the Lord himself right this is the separation between the righteous and the wicked okay now if you you're not down with that man then you're gonna you know taste that nuke you're gonna live to only to to be destroyed and reborn into the kingdom in your right mind right this is John 16 and 2 they shall put you out of the synagogues yea the time cometh that whosoever killeth you will think that he doeth God's service and these devils here man at the very top they think that this world population reduction is ultimately something that the Lord wants them to do for a benefit to their earth man not realizing that this ultimately is going to be the reason why they're going to be destroyed and second it's going to be a way for the Lord to fulfill the prophecy of killing off two-thirds of the Israelites the unworthy and unrighteous man the unbelieving right and it says Luke 13 and 3 I tell you nay but except ye repent ye shall all likewise perish right and that's ultimately what's happening man a lot of people are going to get ready to die right because you see the the spirit of vengeance is out on the earth right now man you're starting to see the very beginnings of Jacob's trouble which is ultimately the, the bringing forth of martial law the hard times the famine economic collapse and so forth starting to, to really you know take a hold and starting to take off man this is second Ezra's 5 and 1 nevertheless as coming the tokens behold the days come the day shall come that they which dwell upon the earth shall be taken in a great number and the way of truth shall be hidden and the land shall be barren of faith right so there you go so the, the key here is that those who dwell upon the earth shall be taken in great number right this is a future prophecy that has been spoken about man that there's gonna be a mass die-offs upon the earth man right? it's gonna be so bad that people are gonna be thrown out of, of the houses like trash man dead bodies in the streets right and what do you think is gonna cause that well I'm sure a lot of you understand you know what's happening right now I'm, I can't speak upon it because I don't want this video to get removed and get another strike but we all know what's happening man because why because we are watching we are prudent Right? We are, are understanding the times that we're living in. Now, the people who are who are still trying to go to the club, still trying to you know watch their football teams in person, still trying to go back to normal, right? They have no understanding what's going on, right? And hence, this it fulfills 
not only us who are the prudent, but them who are simple. Proverbs 22 and 3. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. Right? And how are these devils going to be punished? These, these two-thirds of our people, along with the masses of the world, who, uh, who, you know, the heathen who are trusting in these devils who rule the world? Well, they're going to receive an untimely death at the hands of their rulers. Right? And why is that? Well, because their rulers... Are, are ruled by wicked people, right? And their wicked solution to, to controlling the world, keeping uh, a foothold on power, is to kill off the vast majority of the world. So that way, not only can they continue to, to rule, but they can continue to have all that they want because they're going to be sharing less of it with us, right? But again, prophecy says that these devils are not going to succeed in, in, in their agenda, man. That as he, before he fills his belly, the Lord is going to strike these devils through, right? And right now they're eating, right? All these laws are getting implemented without people really resisting. You know, you got a couple of riots here and there, some protests, but people aren't really resisting, man. There aren't, you know, mass killings or revolts where they're, you know, chopping off the, these politicians heads and like the, in the revolution that isn't happening man so that you know this agenda is working just as Esau's planning man but pretty soon the Lord's gonna gonna you know throw a monkey wrench into his plans right and but I just wanted to share these articles I came to show you man these devils that we're fighting against you know what uh, you know is going on so hopefully this video was edifying until next time I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai Bashem Yahweh the Lord is my teacher, the apostles and elders of the great millstone. Peace and mercy to the elect. Shalom.